Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian Fuel. So guys, there has been a clash between Black Ass and Supreme Vikings Confraternity in Abia State in the city of Umahia in an area called Udme to be precise. And as we speak, someone has been seriously injured Why one of the confraternity is actually mocking the other confraternity because of what has happened to them few days ago before this clash started. So to really understand what actually prompted this clash, you need to have been following this platform for at least three weeks now or you will understand better if you have been following this platform for at least one year. But don't worry, I am going to explain everything. So about three weeks ago, I made a video where Black Ass and Greenlander was having a confraternity war. And this war actually started when a Black Ass member did a business with the leader of the Greenlander. And the business went bad and when they were trying to settle the business, that is when the confraternity war started. So the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen is the person that actually did the business with the leader of the Greylander that actually led to the confraternity war between Greylander. So this man is popularly known as Agwajo, which means bad character in English. So in this video, I am going to refer to him as bad character. So this bad character that you are currently seeing is said to be a very stubborn young man and he is said to be one of the black ass hit squad member right there in Omaha. Now, a lot of people and other confraternity members are actually scared to clash with black ass just because of bad character. And they said his name was given to him because of what he has been doing in the streets. Now, because bad character has been involved in a lot of heat and his name is out there in the streets, the Abia State Police Command have declared him wanted long ago. But a lot of people had said that bad character have a tomorrow to the extent that when police are looking for him, whenever they see him, they don't recognize him. They walk past him as if he is not the person they are all looking for. So on the 2nd of November 2022, the head of the police gave his police officers go ahead and shoot on sight whenever they see bad character. So that 2nd of November 2022 it is said that the police officers got a drop a tip on where bad character was hiding the place that he was actually staying so the police mobilized and they were going to the house of bad character so some people actually got the update and the court bad character told him that police are coming to your house in numbers it is advisable that you leave but bad character had told them that he is not leaving his house he is not going to run away from anyone so the police actually got to his house and he was actually found at home but it is said that the police had actually done something that neutralized the automobile that bad character had so when the police stormed his house there was a standoff but according to the story, the standoff wasn't for a long time. The police officers brought down Bad Karata on the 2nd of November 2022. So when they brought him down, they actually disassembled his body. I am going to post that on the Telegram channel and also on my WhatsApp status so you guys can see it for yourself. So after Bad Karata had already went down, the news spread around the cities of Omaha and a lot of people started saying that they are going to be a confraternity war now that bad character is no more because a lot of people didn't want to start any confraternity war because of bad character according to the words on the streets. So two days ago, which was 5th of November 2022, one of the leaders of Black Eyes around that area was actually buying fuel in the fuel station and it is said that he was seen by some vikings members and immediately they saw him they approached him and before you knew what was happening they started beating him it is said that they used some sharp objects on him and when they were cutting him they told him that bad character is no more that black ass won't be able to do anything 
So I cannot play the video when he was explaining. I am only going to play the audio so you can hear what he said. I will post the video on Telegram later in the day and also on my WhatsApp status. But let me play the audio so you can hear what he said. Okay. See what in Arubi is doing me today for Don Justus Philly Station. Today, the 5th of November. Arubi is around me. Tell me, say, I go to Jordan for, say, we don't get anything. Say, they yes, say, I may be coordinator. See what in Arubi is doing me. They racket me, they cut cut me. When I talk, say, what, no good day? What good day? Emergency I today, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Emergency I today, tomorrow, beat 6th. November 2022. Man. Anybody will not go fall out. One JD for him. Emergency IT day tomorrow. So. 4 p.m. Dog hour. Make one man fall out. Fall out. Yeah. So, you have heard for yourself, before this attack actually happened, Black Ass members are saying that there was no clash on ground, that there was no problem between Black Ass and Vikings. So Black Ass are actually saying that Vikings started this war because they have heard that Bad Karata is no more. And when they were also attacking the leader of Black Ass, they told him that Bad Karata is no more. But the Vikings leader actually said that he declared war on Black Ass because of what Tata did. And this is why I said you will understand better if you have been following this platform also from last year. For people who don't know who Tata is, Tata was a black ass member that was brought down by some Vikings member sometimes last year. So it is said that Tata is from this region and they said when he was alive, he disturbed a lot of Vikings members. So the leader of Vikings said because of what Tata did in the past, he has declared war on black ass. He said he is not going to bring any black ass member down. Whenever they catch any black ass member, they are going to beat them and get them injured. So this is what the Vikings member actually said. And this is what he also told his members. That when they say black ass members, they should beat them and get them injured. So this is the entire situation that is going on right there in the city of Umahia in Abia State. Anyway guys. You are watching Nigerian View.